what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of not starting or not launching issue you're currently having with modern warfare 2 so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want you guys to know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys who would support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that so anyways I would just say let's get right started. So the first step is gonna be to simply navigate to the bottom of your screen where you're gonna right click your task bar and open up your task manager. Once you're finished with that I want you to simply navigate to the top left corner where you're gonna click into processes just to ensure that you're sticking around it. Afterwards hit one of those random processes doesn't really matter which one and type in M in order to find Modern Warfare 2. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply right click and end the task. Once you're fine with that, simply end the task manager. Next step is gonna be to take your Steam shortcut or your launcher shortcut wherever you downloaded it or your Modern Warfare 2 shortcut. And if you don't have it there, you simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, clicking onto the Windows symbol and using your Windows search function in order to find it. Once you found it, simply drag it right back. Let's quickly come back. Take your shortcut, right click it and go to the very bottom where it says properties. Once this one pops up, click on to compatibility and simply copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it. Enable run as program compatibility mode 4, select Windows 8, disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator, hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend to reset your PC afterwards and once it is restored you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right on your shortcut. Afterwards, I want you to simply launch a game over the launcher or launch a game. This will probably fix your issue. Yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. And I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.